Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a little introduction on a patcher. And I'm sure that there are a lot of great videos just like this one on YouTube already, but I just thought that I would make this playlist of all of the patcher tutorials that I'm gonna post in the future. And then I just started thinking like, maybe it would be beneficial to have some kind of an introduction to patcher in case somebody is watching who is not that familiar with it. So yeah, this is, this is my version of the patcher basics. Okay, let's start from the easiest thing. What is patcher? So I'm gonna click add and then I'm gonna open up patcher right here. So in patcher, you can connect plugins and synths and things together. And it's a great tool for extending your mixer, for example, and you can add patches in the mixer tracks as well. So here you can see we have 10 slots, but we could have a patcher instrument here in the channel rack. And then we could already add a lot of effects in here. So then we have even more room left on the mixer. So yeah, there's not much else to say about that but I think that you figured it out. <laughs> so here in Patcher, we have two tabs. The other one is map and the other one is surface. So let's go over the surface tab. So here we can add stuff like buttons, knobs, sliders, and then we can use these to control stuff on the map side. And here you can see this little red dot appeared right here. So we could connect this to plugin. So let's add a plugin. I'm just gonna add citrus. So here in citrus, I can open it and then I can activate knobs. So I could activate this volume slider by right clicking and pressing activate. And now I can connect this knob to the volume slider. And now when I move the knob, the volume slider moves. And here in the surface, there's this thing called control creator. And with this, you can create your own knobs. There are three tabs, so you can make your knobs and sliders and buttons. And here are a lot of different types of settings that you can adjust. You can change the size and you can change the colors. And then when you're done, you can save it in presets and give it a name. And now it's there. And now when I right click and select knob, it appears right here. You can also drag the knob directly into the surface like this, but sometimes this behaves in a way that if there's like a background or anything behind this knob, it won't grab the knob if you try to move it, but it grabs whatever is behind it instead. I'm not sure if that has been fixed, but at least in the version that I'm currently using, it kind of does that sometimes. So that's why I usually just save the knob as a preset and then open it up. With Patcher, there are a couple of specific plugins kind of designed to be used with Patcher. They're mostly related to controlling MIDI and kind of using the piano roll in conjunction with Patcher. So when I right click and select add plugin, here's the list under Patcher and there are a couple of options. So with the color mapper, you can map stuff to different note colors. So in the piano roll, you can select the color of notes. So we also have an envelope plugin. There's multiple ones in Patcher you can use. Then there's the key mapper where you can map keys. So you can change the key routings with this. And then there's the keyboard splitter that you can use to create zones. So you can assign different types of keyboard zones that use different instruments or have some other type of different functionality. And finally, we have the level scaler. So with this, as you can see, you can multiply MIDI note values and there's all sorts of other stuff here too. So how do we make all these cool patches that look almost like plugins and have all sorts of functionality? Your best friend in this is the formula controller, at least in my opinion, because with the formula controller, you can introduce logic in your patch, almost kind of like programming. You can create mathematical operations. And in formula controller, there are three knobs. So three parameters and you can activate all of them. And after activating, you can connect 
these knobs and all these things from the surface into the formula controller. And then it also has an output right here. So you can enable that. And then the output will be whatever this formula like whatever the result of that formula is. So this way you can create pretty complicated functionality if needed. And just to give you an example, there are all sorts of presets here like LFOs. And this one is a very handy one. It's inversion. So for the sake of example, I'm going to show you how you could invert that volume knob that we connected in the beginning. I'm going to enable a parameter and then I'm going to enable output and then I'm going to add this formula controller here in the middle. And now when I open Citrus and go to the surface and start adjusting my knob, you can see that it moves to the opposite direction. So when this is 100%, this is 0%. Then a couple of other useful plugins for Patcher are the envelope controller, which you can use to create envelopes and LFOs that are like MIDI triggered. And here we have six articulators. So basically six different envelopes and LFOs. And here, when you right click, you can enable these articulators in this list. You can also create inputs for this. So I could like activate, say the attack of this first envelope, and then I could connect it to something on the surface to control it. Then we have the keyboard controller. This is cool because you can assign your own value to a specific note. So you could like select a different value for each of these notes. And then you can output, say, the note value. So with this one, you could, for example, make a keyboard tracking filter. So you could make some kind of a formula and then you could connect this into a filter and make it do keyboard tracking, which means that for each key, the filter cutoff value is adjusting accordingly so that each note kind of has the same quality. You can paint these by the way, and then you can just move all of them. One thing that's pretty common is this kind of like a gate. And this means that I could have like a selector here on the surface. So maybe I want to have two citruses and then I want to select which one I want to use. Or maybe I have effects or specifically something that necessarily doesn't have its own volume knob. So with these instances of fruity balance, you could connect them to the citruses. I'm just going to copy this. So by the way, right click and save preset as and when you press it down and drag it, you could just create another instance of the plugin. Connect that and then connect these. I'm not going to go over all of this, but I'm just giving you kind of examples and introducing stuff. <laughs> so now I could connect these volume knobs to the surface. So I have this inversion here. So I'm going to switch this to here and then I'm going to drag another connection directly here. So with this kind of setup, you could always turn the other balance off and the other one is on depending on what you're doing here on the surface. So it's kind of like a signal gate. So only one of these is open at a certain time and you could make multiple ones and then create these menus almost. So there's like many different ways of creating this type of behavior. Don't worry, I will do plenty of tutorials about this stuff in the future. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this playlist and this is going to be the first introduction part of it, but I'm going to put some links into the description and give you some more advice on what to read in order to get started. And yeah, I'm going to keep posting some tutorials and hopefully you will get interested in Patcher. So yeah, I will see you in the next video.